So one of the ways that we're going to help our products stand out in search is by using video mockups. Now, Etsy already allows you to use video mockups for your Etsy listings, but most people who had their shots for a long time are not using this feature. And so when you combine your design with video mockup using an area like place it, then you're able to stand out even more in search. And in our case today, we definitely want to jump on the trend with these softball t-shirt designs. And so we're going to combine our design with a video mockup and actually list this on Etsy. Welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now to actually utilize video mockups is really easy to do if you head over to place it. They have a technology where you can streamline your design right over to a live model where you are able to display your design in video format. Now place it makes it really easy for you to actually find and use video mockups for Etsy with a large category of a video mockup. You can find a specific video mockup that really matches the overall theme for your shirt. So if you want to check out these video mockups on your own, I make sure I leave a link down to place it in my description box below this link is tied to a discount where you're able to save a little bit and to see if this is best for your print on demand business so here we are in canva one of the first things i want to do is definitely head over to create a design because from here i want to customize my size for my project and the size i like to focus on is 5000 by 5000 this also allows me to keep my pixel count high to work with other print on demand and products so one of the things i teach on my channel is to utilize pre-made designs and redesign them to add in your own personal value and so we definitely want to continue that strategy here again this allows us to speed up the process with our design phase so we can go quickly to our uploading phase with our mock-ups and then over to our listing and so i already have a, a particular design i want to utilize here so i definitely want to change my background so you can see exactly what i'm working with and so here's our softball t-shirt design that we're going to start off with today and again the goal here is to always have something in front of you so you never started from scratch and again throughout our research on this channel you can see my other videos we know that the softball uh, trend is actually huge right now and so you definitely want to create baseball t-shirts and softball t-shirts so this will work well for our print on demand business with etsy and so from here we have our design to say softball mom but one of the things i don't like here is this you know red heart here and this red stars i definitely want to add in a yellow softball to this design and instead of just having this heart here i definitely want to add in some personalizations to this design to make it stand out even more now we're not going to totally deconstruct this design but definitely reimagine this design to create our own value to what we see here so one of the things we want to do first is actually erase some of these things on here so we can have room to add in some more elements so if i head over to edit in canva and i am using canva pro i can head over to background remover and what this will do as you can see it will automatically remove the background but i actually want to go in further and actually adjust some of the things that are erased so i can add in some things later on and so i want to go to this restore tool because what I actually want to keep is the softball up top. Now, if I want to see the original image so I know exactly what I am restoring, I can head over to show original image and I can see exactly where I need to restore the image. So with restore being selected, I'm just going to restore the entire image as this would give me a space for me to really pinpoint where I want things to be erased and what type of things I want to be left on my design. So as I go to erase, I want to bring my brush down. And one of the things I want to get rid of is is this red heart here and as we did with the restore i just need to click erase and then hover over these areas where i want this to be gone so now that we have that heart erase i want to go ahead and hit the back button here and as you can see that heart is gone but it gives us some room to add some more things in but before i even do that i see that it's an open space here because we just erased something but again this is what i mean by creatively adding things in to make this design your own so one of the things i definitely want to do is to erase this mom so i can have the softball by itself and then the mom by itself because from here i can make this mom a little bit larger and add this in the bottom of our space so what i would do here is i would just duplicate the image i will go back here to the edit the photo hit the options here to adjust i have the erase already selected so i want to definitely erase the mom here on the bottom 
So as you can see here, we just have the softball by itself. So now that we have the mom erased and just a softball by itself, we definitely want to go in and duplicate this image again because now we want to remove the softball but keep the mom here. And again, we go back into edit. We go back to background remover. We go to the erase tool here and we want to erase the softball that's up top so that we can actually have the mom by itself. And then from here, we are able to make some adjustments for this mom to stand out even more. All right, so I think that looks pretty good here. Now, one of the things I wanna do is definitely shrink this down so I don't have this open space. So easy way to go ahead and do that is grab the top here. You can crop it in, grab the side here and crop it in again. And now we have this image by itself. I would just simply copy and head over here and paste the image back in. And now we have the mom here. And now, as you can see here, I can grab the edges here and make this a little bit larger. So what we just did here was change the layout of this overall design. Yes, we kept the softball here, but we had that open space as I go back here that we really wanted to fill in. And so all we did was detach the mom from the softball image to make that area fill in a little bit more. Now, one of the things I definitely want to do is add in that yellow softball here. I actually have a yellow softball that I grabbed from another pre-made design and did exactly the process. I taught you erase some things and kept the main element I want to use. So with that design here, I definitely want to copy and paste that over here and overlap that to my design. And as you can see, that is a perfect fit. Now, one of the things I definitely want to do is just remove this heart and add in my own heart because as I taught you, adding in that personalization is a great way for you to stand out even more. So with that being said, I wanna head over to Canva Elements. I wanna grab a heart here. Now with some elements, you can just hover over and hide what is there. In our case today, that is what we're gonna do. So everything you don't have to erase, just again, just have your design in place over it so you can hide it and then add in your own unique design here. Now I definitely wanna add in some text. I have my text here and just add in a number so that my customers know this can be personalized. Can I wanna go in and make this bold, make this a little bit larger here, place this right over my design, make this just rotate a little bit and change this instead of it being black, we're gonna change this to be white. And we have our design here. So one of the things I like to do, just grab everything and hit right click and head over to group. And now as you can see, this is just one solid image I can have to utilize for my print on demand business. Now from here, I definitely want to export this and of course utilize this for my print on demand partners, but I definitely want to go in a step further with my overall listing and create a video mock-up. So I want to share exactly how to do that now. So here we are in place it. And as you can see here, I have searched up video mock-up t-shirt and I went over to the left hand side and just selected women here as this would give me a filter so I can have exactly the type of model I want in the shot. So one of the things I like to do is find a video mock-up that matches my theme or a particular season or occasion that I am selling in. And in our case today, we are definitely selling in the baseball or softball season. So I want to find a shirt that matches up with that theme and utilize that for our video mock-up so this is the video mock-up that i found here that i believe will work out extremely well for us again it has the you know clear image of the model in the t-shirt right here in the shot and it seems like this person is on some type of baseball or softball field and those yellow glasses will help our design stand out even more now a couple things that we see here with our overall options for our design here we have the option to insert our design we can change the color here if we want we can add in some audio if we are using this for social media, but for Etsy, they don't allow you to use audio right now. So we're just gonna turn that off. And we have some options here to pick other things that might be related to our video mockup. But in our case today, I think we are okay with this design. From here, I want to go ahead and upload my image and I have my design uploaded here. Now from here, I have the option of where I want my design to be placed. Again, anything outside of this highlighted box will not be visible on our t-shirt mock-up. So I definitely want to make sure it is kept here in the center. Now, one of the things I like to do that I seems to work out well, is just bring my design up a little bit as this will place perfectly on our t-shirt and I am going to hit crop. Now with our design being white and our t-shirt being white, obviously it's not going to show up as best on this video mock-up, but utilizing 
size and place it again to give you the option to change the color of your t-shirt to fit whatever design style you want to go with here so i definitely want to select black and as you can see in real time it is changing my t-shirt color and now we see the design on our particular model again if everything looks well here and i can see this is placed on the t-shirt the right way and again that softball mom is looking great i can go in here and hit play all slides and it will render this slide for me and it will show me a video of this slide once it is done so here we have our full design rendered here we have that softball mom again our overall placement of our design if i hit play back again we will see this a little bit different from what we know to be a video mock-up but again this allows us to have multiple pictures displayed of our image right here in a video format now we do have some video mock-ups that are just full out video full in motion of our particular model moving but i think in our case today with the theme of this entire space being a sports theme or a softball theme and that immediate focus on our design and t-shirt i think this is a great video mock-up to use for our etc listing from here i can go ahead and hit download and this will be able to download to my computer for me to utilize on my etsy listing so as you can see utilizing video mock-ups for your t-shirt design is really easy to do with place it and this is a great feature you should have on your etsy listing because it helps you stand out even more in etsy search now if you want to learn more about how to use this for your pro demand business again i make sure i leave all the details in my description box below for you to learn a little bit more of how how to utilize these video mockups for your Etsy listing. Now, if you want to learn the next step of how to actually get your product found in Etsy search, then make sure you check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.